This video is going to cover chapter 12.1 to 12.2 of geometry. Uh, by the end of this video, you're going to know uh, a lot more about ratios and proportions and similar figures. So a ratio is an expression that compares two quantities by division. So essentially it's a fraction, but each of these numbers stands for some value. And then a proportion is a statement of equality between two ratios. And you can use proportions to find values, such as if we have 1 eighth and we set it equal to x over 16, then we can figure out what that value would be. So similar figures are figures that have the same shape but not necessarily the same size, and they're enlargements or reductions with no irregular distortions. So essentially, if you have, for example, a little square, and then you have a big square, these are going to be similar figures because they're the same shape, but not necessarily the same size, and this is an enlargement here. And then similar polygons are if the corresponding angles are congruent, and the corresponding sides are proportional then you have a similar polygon. So essentially, if we have a triangle here, and say that we have, uh, well this looks kind of like an equilateral triangle, so we have 60, 60, 60 degrees, and we want to make a similar triangle, that triangle, as big as it may be, also needs to have 60 degrees here, 60 degrees there, and 60 degrees here, because you have to have corresponding angles with congruent sides. And then if we say that this is 4, this side, um, that, and this side is 4, and this side is 4 because it's an equilateral triangle, then each of these sides has to be multiplied by the same number. You can't have 8 here and then have 10 here. That doesn't work. So then dilations are going to be non-rigid transformations. So... This, here's a picture of a dilation to kind of explain that. So it's where you move an object, so you translate an object, and you transform it, and you also enlarge it. Um, and the center of dilation is the point from which these rays of dilation originate. So you can see you have these rays that go through each of these points, and they're all, they all go through each point, and yet the figure gets larger because the rays are pointing outwards. So that's a dilation. Um, and then the dilation similarity conjecture says that if one polygon is the image of another polygon under a dilation, then the polygons are similar. So you can be sure that if you have a dilation, then this figure is going to be similar to this figure. And even if we went on and continued these lines and then drew the figure again, then this figure is also going to be similar to these two other ones.